Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I would like to have uh, introduced about how to import business uh, data into our R Studio and do some process about our data. Last week, we have talked about the German credit data. So, do you know how to get to this website? If you don't know, so you can just use Google. The database we are using right now is in UCI dataset. So you can type the keyword on Google. So you can search the keyword UCI dataset. So you may find the first one dataset UCI machine learning repository. So this database is a real uh, a real database which is contribute from many company or many organizations. So there are uh, 500 for 57 data set in this database. They also call machine learning database. So you can use a lot of database here for your analyzed. So today I would like to use the German credit data. So you can type the keyword credit, CR credit, credit. for search this keyword. So you may find the first one, German credit data. So you may go to this website. We have talked about this data set before. So this data set has 1,000 instance, 1,000 observations and also they have 20 attributes 20 variables so you may find the data set information here also when you look at one of the data set in UCI machine learning repository you have to take a look at the purpose for this data set also you can find the purpose on abstract here so this data set classify people described by a set of attributes as good or bad credit risk so all you guys know the bank are very concerned about the credit risk for their customers. If the, their customers' credit risk is bad, they may not loan, give the money, give the loan to their customer because the customer customer don't have the ability to get the money back to the bank. So the credit risk it's a very important for bank. So also you can find here the data set information. So they provide uh, attributes they to uh, to know how good is their credit risk. So you can have the numbers one, it indicate the credit risk is good. Number two, it means the bad credit risk. Later we will find the example for these variables. So also you can find the rest of the 20 attributes in 
this area we call attribute information. For the first one variables, we call is the status of existing checking account. So it means the status for each customers for their checking account. So you may take a look at what is the checking account mean. Checking account is mean you pay your payment by a check. In Chinese, we call zi piao. So you have saved some money in your checking account so you can to pay your checking by in your checking account. So there are four status in this checking account. So A twenty uh, A eleven it means the month for the checking account is less than zero. It means zero. They didn't deposit any money in this checking account. If the status is A twelve it means the amount, the status for the checking amount is between 0 to 200. It means it's less than 200. DM, it means mark, mark, because it is a German bank, so they use the mark, mark for their currency. For A13, for the status for the checking account is more than 200 mark. If the label is A14, it means this customer don't have a checking account. So you have to, to uh, uh, take a look at all the attributes for this data set. So let me brief describe each attribute. For the second attributes, it means duration in months. Is the customer is has business? How long does the customer has a business with this bank? Maybe you have have your uh, account since six months ago, so it means six. So duration in months. So category three, attribute three is credit history. Is how good is the credit history for these customers. If A30, it means no credit taken. So it means all credit payback theory. So it means the credit history for this customer is good. If you have the label for A30, 33, it means this customer delay in paying off in the pace. It means sometimes the customer didn't pay off their loan in time. For attribute 4, purpose. So what is the reason for the customer to have a loan with this bank. If A40, it means has a car loan, 汽车借款. Maybe you have the housing repair. So maybe you have an education loan, 学贷, A46. So what about attribute 5? Attribute 5 is a credit amount. 
is how long, how many you can have your credit. As you have a good credit, your credit amount will be higher than others. 信用的额度, credit amount. So it means it's numerical, 数值型的. So how about attribute 6? is saving account. For the first one is checking account, and this one is saving account. 储蓄存款. So if your status is A61, it means your saving account, the money in your saving account is less than 100 mark. Okay, so for the attribute 7, is the purpose employment since. So how long does this customer get the job? So you can have examples if they label A75, it means this customer has been working more than 7 years. Okay, so attribute 8, installment rate in percentage of income. It's okay, so you have a look at. So for the attribute 9 is personal status and 6. It means if male, female, is single or married or not the status for the person status attribute 10 to you does the customer has some debate attribute 11 present residence since attribute 12 it means properties. Does the customer has a real estimate? Has a house or have a car? Attribute 13, age in years. So how old is their customers? Attribute 14, other installment plan. 15. Housing is rent or owned by themselves. Housing. 16. Number of existing credit in this bank. Credit card. How, how, many, how, many, so how many credit card in this bank? 17. Jobs. The status for the job. Unemployed or management. 18. Number of people being labeled to provide maintenance for. Some attributes are not we are going to concern about. So you just take a look at. Later I will e explain more the attribute we are going to deal with. Attribute 19 is telephone. Does the customer has a telephone or not? So for the last one is a foreign worker. Is the customer is a foreign worker, 外国的工作者, or not? Okay, so the first section I have e explained the concept about the data set we are going to analyze. If you don't know the English meaning for each attribute, I have some suggestions you just to translate to Chinese. You may find more description for each attribute. 
it's okay so let's end of the section one